Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about what if parameter in Power BI. This is one of the important uh, concept in the Excel and it is a very well known concept in the Excel. Microsoft has introduced in the August 2007 into the Power BI the same concept. So it will allow the user to substitute the own value to check the analysis. So I have created a scenario for us to understand in a better way. So let us see that. So before going to the Power BI window, let us see what are all the tables I am planning to use for this example. If you see here, I am planning to use the AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012 database. Under that, I have a couple of dimension tables as well as a couple of fact tables. So I am planning to use these dimension and a fact table. So let me go to the Power BI window and let me load this fact and dimension tables. Let me come here. So let me get the data. Select the SQL server. So once you select the SQL server, it will ask you what is your server name. It is very familiar to everyone. So my server name is dot slash SQL 2012. Click on OK. Once you click on OK, in the next immediate window, it will show you the list of available databases in your server. So if you provide a database name directly in the previous window, that time it shows you the list of tables and list of views available. So here let me expand the database which contains 39 tables if you see 39 views or tables whatever it is. So out of 39 let me select what are all the tables which are required for my analysis for my scenario. Here I will be selecting dim product, dim product category, dim product subcategory and some fact uh, tables, fact internet sales. So these are the four tables I am planning to take. So here I can take the dim date, dim customer as well. But so for my simple scenario, I'll be taking only these four tables. So in the right side, you can see the preview of those tables. So once you are OK with that, let's click on load. Once you click on load, it may take a while to load those tables into Power BI in memory. Yes, it is a visualization tool. The data should come into in memory for the better performance. So now the tables are ready with us in the in memory of the Power BI. Okay. So now let me go to the what if parameter. So to create a what if parameter, you have to go to the modeling tab first. In the modeling tab, you have a separate section for the what if parameter. So as I mentioned earlier, it allows us to substitute your own value during your analysis. So it come as a slicer. Let me create and show you practically how it allows us, how it will help us to do that analysis. See, once you hover it, you can see the statement, create a new what if parameter whose value you can set it in a slicer and reference in your other DAX formulas. You can set that value on your own with the help of the slicer and that will be referenced in the other columns as well. Let me show you that nothing to worry. So let me click on that. So once I click on it, it opens a separate window with a couple of uh, text boxes and labels. If you see that this is asking us to create a parameter now. So now parameter name I'm giving as a profit. So profit and the data type I'm keeping as a decimal number. So let us see later I'll change the uh, uh, some properties as well. But for time being I'm keeping name as a profit and uh, data type as a decimal number and a minimum. See ideally we need to understand here. So for there are some items so that um, the shopkeeper will be getting 0% of a zero profit. There are some items he might be getting 100% profit. Let us say he, he got the item for 100 bucks. He can sell that item for the 200 bucks. Yes, there are some items out there. 
that manufacturer is giving that much of profit to the particular uh, on the particular items so that is the reason why i am giving minimum discount as minimum profit as zero and the maximum profit as one i am keeping so because it is a profit percentage so here increment i am keeping as a so 0 0.05 0.05 yes you understand here so on there are some items he is getting the zero profit and there are some items he is getting 100 percent profit and there are some items he is getting in between range of zero to 100 percent the incremental uh, percentage level is 0 0.05 it means that if you really talk about in percentages zero percentage 5% 10% 15 and so on 95 and 100 percentage like that you need to understand the percentage values in uh, in this way but at the back end you need to use actual values so 0 percent is nothing but 0 0 5 percent is nothing but 0 0.05 100 percent is nothing but 1 now let me click on ok and one more option here you have as a one more option here you have as a yeah, add slices to this page so this option will help us to add the slicers automatically to your page so if you unselect this again there is a separate way to add the slicers that also is okay for us okay so that's the option we have it got introduced in the year of august 2017 so by default it automatically selects i'll be keeping with that selection option only so once you are okay let's click on okay for that so once you click okay it gets a slicer for us it is loading let's wait yes the slicer is ready so let me increase the size okay here okay and let me increase the font size or i can change the properties as well if you want you can change the properties of it and here you can go here and you can change uh, some slider properties and slider colors and all to easily identification you can change the slider color as this or whatever the color you want so now you can change this so you can see that let me change the font value of it as well even numeric inputs is this and now currently let's make it as yeah i can see it's a little better okay so now this is the value of the slicer and uh, what you parameter now how it is getting impacted in the other dax calculations i will show you that so let's keep that and now let me go to the field section so before going to use uh before going to uh, directly go for visualization let me create a, a measure and let me use this parameter in that measure so how to create a measure is you have to create a measure with the help of the home tab let's go to the home tab and click on new measure so once you click on new measure it opens a separate window altogether here you can write a measure name as a profit amount profit amount the calculation is sum of i will be taking as a sum of sales first so here i will be using sum of fact sales amount into the profit percentage there is a sales amount yes sales amount into profit value so it means that i am calculating the profit amount equal to sales amount into profit percentage actually so let's yeah this is ready yes profit amount is ready now let me go for the visualization so that it is very easy for us to understand so this is a visualization let me come here let me make it little bigger yeah let me select the list of columns what i am planning to take so from here first from product category i am planning to take the english product name no, not for this sorry let me remove this select this yeah select the english product name it is coming in the access now what is the property i am planning to take in the values let me go to the fact internet sales here i am planning to take sales amount yes, sales amount okay so here i have only three categories and let me go for the measure which i created newly profit amount yeah 
So if you say this, let me minimize the fields. So let me increase the font size of it so that very easy for us to understand. Now, if you, if you minimize this even now, so if you say here, I, I define the profit as 10 percentage. If you see the accessories, I am getting the profit as black lines. I'm coming. I'm getting as a profit here. It is some considerable amount of profit because of uh, the sale amount is also bigger here. The clothing is also value sales amount is less. That's the reason property amount is also a little less. So let me increase the profit percentage to 50. Some 50. So 50. Now you can see that considerable amount of profit I got it. So let me change here. It is a decimal value. Let me change that to the normal whole number. So let me go to the modeling and select this and change this to let me change this to. Let me change this to percentage. So let's select the uh, field what you are planning to. If you select this, this field will be selected. And let's come here in the modeling tab, change it to percentage. So by default, you will get uh, two decimals. Let me remove the two decimals. Now I will be getting exact percentage. But internally, it is a decimal number, but here I am showing as a percentage. So let's change this to now. 50 percentage or 40 percentage, 100 percentage. So once I change it to 100 percentage, so here I will be getting the top value. Here, if you see that, so max I can go for a 95 percentage. So it's almost uh, reached the um, a top. So there are some scenarios where that shopkeeper is getting the 100 percentage profit on some of the items. So maybe it, it may be very uh, rare scenarios, but still I have a flexibility to change. So here user can substitute his own value to identify the to do the analysis on the sales on anything on sales amount or buy items or something like that. So this is how my what if parameter helps a user or business user to do in his own analysis. So let me repeat. So here in this example, what I did is I have taken a the what if parameter and I have taken a slicer to substitute my own value to see the analysis in the column chart. So my column chart contains a two bars, one for the original sales amount, one for the profit amount. So this is all we covered. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any other uh, questions, please comment. Please do let me know or a mail or comment in the so YouTube uh, comment section. I'll try to answer it. Thank you for watching. Thanks again. That's it.